All right, this final video for our lecture this week is looking at healthcare administration. And those are the people that work behind the scenes in healthcare and don't necessarily work directly with patients. So before we talk specifically about that, I wanna share a little bit about the four majors in the School of Allied Health and help you understand them because many of you have identified yourself as exercise science majors. And I wanna make sure you understand the other majors so that as you're kind of figuring out where you wanna go with all this, you have a well-informed um, set of ideas. So our first major to talk about is gerontology. So this is the study of the aging. I've never met a freshman that comes in and that's his or her major because people don't really realize that that major's out there or B, that they like working with older people. I can tell you what, there is great job security in this because we are getting older. And if you have a knack with working with older people, you can get a job with this major. All right, so then there's health promotion. So health promotion is the major that I coordinate Dr. Folks coordinates um, the gerontology major. Health promotion is just what it sounds. It is promoting health. So it is helping people to thrive. So if you're somebody who likes to um, be active and to promote good nutrition, or you want to help people understand how stress impacts their life, to educate them or help coach them so that they can lead a healthy lifestyle, this is a great major. The majors in this area oftentimes work in health departments or for wellness centers or recreation centers or insurance companies or medical offices or campus wellness programs. We have Barton Fit. Um, so that's what health promotion is about. Um, then we have exercise science. And exercise science is all about applying anatomy and physiology to understand how exercise impacts the body. So people who go into exercise science can choose to either work with athletes to help them with performance and to prevent injuries, or they can work with the general population for health-related goals. And um, the thing about exercise science is I find many students pick that major because they know what exercise is, but what they don't realize is it's a lot of anatomy and physiology. So you have to really like your hardcore physiology in order to thrive in this major. All right, so then we have healthcare administration and sports administration. So what I love about these two majors is these two majors are related to both sport and healthcare, but instead of direct patient care or client care, these are the people that are behind the scenes making hospitals happen, making medical practices happen, making sporting events happen. So they're not the ones that are actually directly taking care of the patient, but they're the ones that if without them, the care wouldn't happen. So let's first start with sport. So we have a major called sports administration. So if you're in exercise science now and you, you take anatomy and physiology and you're like, hmm, I didn't think this was what this is all about. And you're like, but I still love exercise. I love sport. You may want to look into sports administration as a major. This is all about being involved in sport, but making things happen. So think about um, a sporting event here at Barton, whether it's a, a tennis match or a baseball game or in the fall, a football game. Okay. We show up as fans and we just get to enjoy an event. But there has been so much behind the scene planning to make that happen. Hiring officials, getting concessions work, parking, tickets, merchandise, all kinds of things. So on the, the day of the game, there's, there's a whole team doing game day operations that are making that, that game and that experience happen. So if you think you'd want to be involved in sport, but not the science part of it, consider this major. All right, same thing for healthcare administration. If you get into some of the hardcore courses related to the science behind taking care of clients and patients, and you say, mm, I love healthcare, but I don't think I want to be the person that um, 
puts in the IV or is actually given talks about smoking cessation, let's say. But you say, you know, I'm really interested in how a hospital operates or I'm really interested in insurance or um, some other aspect of quality in healthcare. There are j jobs and lots of them because healthcare is here to stay um, that you can still do. So I think one of the things that will really allow you to feel some freedom this semester as you learn more about the different f areas in healthcare is to realize you can go into the business side or you can go into the direct patient client care side. And you've got to get yourself in classes and in internships often before you understand that. So what I don't want you to do is feel panicky that you've got to figure it all out right now. A big part of college is the process of experiencing a variety of classes and internships and practicums and volunteer experiences, jobs in the summer, jobs during the school year, to let you see what you're really good at and what you really enjoy. And um, you know what? You can make a living doing a lot of different things. So um, hopefully, uh, this train story has allowed you to start thinking about all the different jobs in the healthcare field. Oh, and by the way, I went to a wedding this weekend of a Barton alum, and his name was Gabe, and the wedding was fabulous.